Good afternoon, everyone. All right, a uh, little recap of uh, the past ball game. I thought uh, we played well for the most part. Uh, very pleased when you can go down to Florida, Daytona, and uh, win 35 to 10. We have struggled with that team for the past few years, and uh, I think last year we only won by four. So uh, we got a comfortable lead, and um, that's due to uh, Lamar Rayner. I thought he played a fantastic game. He really did. He managed to – he threw the ball well. He managed the, um, his team well uh, with a uh, sore back. He was suffering from muscle spasms in his back. And we know how difficult it is just to walk and breathe when you have those uh, back spasms like that. And uh, he was able to play at least a half of a football game and get us in a comfortable lead. Uh, defensively, uh, I thought we played well. Uh, we were able to hold them to 10 points, and they was averaging 30-some points per game. So we was very pleased with that. The second half, uh, Khalil Carter came in and played a wonderful game. He, too, managed the uh, game extremely well. We were able to keep the ball 22 minutes of the 30 in the second half, and that's saying a lot. And that's keeping the defense off the field, and that's giving you an opportunity to be successful. And... Uh, you know, also, we give very little credit or notice to the offensive line. They played well. Uh, we have a young man uh, join us today, Michael Shaw, uh, graded out extremely high, has played a solid uh, football throughout the entire season, and we wish uh, he continued to do so. Um, special teams. I thought special teams played a, a tremendous part in – our uh, efforts in the win. We were able to block another punt that set up a run, and I thought that was very significant early uh, to give us a big, big mo momentum. Uh, the punter, uh, I thought he had a great day. He averaged 40 yards. I think our net was like 36. That's winning football. Um, protecting the football. We put a lot of emphasis on protecting the football. We had two fumbles. Uh, fortunately, we was able to recover both of those, but uh, that's one of the things that we do not want to happen. Uh, we had one interception. That was good to see. We got a linebacker to make uh, get an interception this past uh, against Bethune Cookman last week, and that was uh, exciting to see. And that is the Cookman game. Okay, moving on to this week, homecoming. Uh, big ball game. All of them are big. Uh, Norfolk uh, pose, uh, the record don't indicate their capabilities. They're much better football, I feel, than their record indicate. I said that one other time, and it came back to bite us. But um, defensively, they, they are ranked. Scoring-wise, uh, they stopped the run. And uh, the secondary is adequate. So our offense have a big challenge ahead of them. Offensively, the quarterback is Carter, uh, very athletic. Uh, can throw the ball. Uh, however, he, he, he don't make great decisions all the time. So we must do a very good job disguising coverage and see if we cannot uh, bait him into uh, a couple of error passes. And uh, the running backs, I think, are very solid. They, they, they look stocky, hard-nosed runners, uh, keep it to the grind, and they do not turn the football over, which makes them a very uh, worthy opponent. Uh, defensively, the front four is possibly the strength of the defense. They do a very good job of uh, twisting and slanting and, and getting penetration. Um, our offensive line is going to have to do a great job to uh, protect the quarterback and give the running backs some running lanes. The linebackers are, are active, not overly active. Um, so we feel that we have a chance with those guys. Uh, the secondary is uh, solid. I think the corners, um, perhaps the strength of them, they play multiple techniques. They don't play the same technique every time. Very little bump and run. We like when they come down and press. The majority of the time they play off and just try to keep everything underneath them. 
and um, make it very difficult to get vertical. So uh, that will be a challenge for us as well. So uh, very excited about this one. Uh, having the week off was uh, critical. I thought it came at a very good time, very opportune time. Uh, we have several kids that's banged up that needed the time off. I'm sure most of you know about um, Frank McCain. We've lost him for the season uh, due to an ACL tear. And that's, uh, that's a tough one. Well, I, I, it's not going to change very much. Mm -hmm. It really will not. Uh, I think um, Amir McNeil, who came in last week, I, he's very worthy. That young man can play. So um, I don't think we lose a whole lot. You know, of course, you're going to lose some, but um, it's not a whole lot to be lost there. I'll tell you what, it's so difficult to see. Okay. I have tried my best to find it. I think we all have. And uh, it's just one of those things. Just foot got caught in the grass, twisted the wrong way, and boom. Oh, boy. You're absolutely right. That was um, a bright, a very bright um, sight to see. I thought he played much better than he has uh, any other time this year. Uh, is he 100%? Maybe not. But uh, he's close enough to make plays. And um, that's one thing that young man will do. He'll make plays. And uh, his effort and his energy uh, is Contagious, and is very happy um, for him to be around, giving us those kind of energies. Well, I think it's very important that we stick to our, our weekly routine. And if we do that, we'll be fine. Uh, and, and we try to reiterate, you know, homecoming is not for the football team. It's for the alumni that's coming back home. And uh, I think most of them understand that concept and uh, will continue to preach. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's difficult for Lamar, but um, it's, it's a very great thing to have when you have that many weapons. And then you can spread it around. They cannot, you know, um, attack or defend just one concept. You make them have to defend the entire field. And uh, so that should work to our advantage. And I thought he did a much better job spreading the ball around. If you notice, many more receivers called passes last week than in um, recent weeks. So very pleased with uh, the way he spread it around more. Oh, it was, yeah, I, we had several kids that needed this time off. And, uh, you know, they're not injured. They're just banged up, you know. After eight ball games, you know, that kind of contact, you know, every week, you're going to be banged up. So that's kind of expected. But uh, this little time off really, really helped. And uh, it came at the perfect opportune time for us. Well, oh, this is a tough one. That's a very good question. Um, if you just start with uh, just on offense alone, um, you, you're looking at Lamar, mm -hmm. you're looking at Cartwright, you're looking at Micah, um, Hardy, um, Malik. So, uh, you know, several guys that have contributed to our success, you know, for many years, you know, that played as freshmen, um, you know, will be leaving us and, and moving on. And um, we, we're grateful, we're thankful. And appreciate all, the, all that they have done for this program and look forward to them being successful in all their endeavors. I think uh, once the dust settles, it would be. You know, once it's all said and done, that's when it strike you. You know, um, you know the, the presentation is done before the ball game. It's, you know, you know, emotional. You know, the parents are very excited. But the ball game have not been played yet. So I think once that happens and once they realize that is the very last time that you will play on this field, when that's realized and then it becomes very emotional.